how shiny that is. I did my nails in this color. Something I've wanted to do for basically all of my life. Okay, no, that doesn't look right, does it? No, that musical note. It's all coming together. And kind, and kind. Hey beautiful people, welcome back to This Girl's Insights where you can find vlogs and sit down conversations about faith and lifestyle. In each of my videos, I share my insights, my journey, my life with you. Yo, I am so excited today. My voice sounds really like this is the first, like it's the morning time and this is the first conversation I'm having so my voice sounds really like mm, deep. But yeah, I am really excited today, yo. So I need to keep an eye on the time. I need to leave the house in a second because I'm doing something very exciting as you can see from this helmet on my head which I'm trying to figure out because I'm not sure obviously I've got a scarf on and stuff but I'm not sure if it actually fits like this is my first helmet and I'm not sure if it's meant to sit like this or like okay no that don't look right does it that doesn't look right maybe it's this but yeah y'all actually the instructor will probably tell me or I can ask the instructor though I might look like a numpty for not knowing instructor for what you must be wondering <laughs> you know the way I'm so excited like even on Instagram yesterday Sorry, let me pack my stuff. Even on Instagram yesterday, I was acting like I'm about to go mountain climbing. Or, okay, do you wear helmets? I'm sure you wear helmets on my Instagram climbing. I was acting like I was really about to do something, y'all. But y'all, I am getting bike riding lessons um, because yes, me, grown, can't ride a bike because when I was a kid, I never took off or my training wheels were never taken off. I'm not taking responsibility for that decision. Someone didn't take off my training wheels. Um, so recently I found out, because basically I'm thinking about, and this is like a big thing, um, in the future, not like in the future, riding a bike to work, if there's like a cycle to work path. So basically that's kind of where the thought came from. So I started looking into, okay, if I'm going to ride a bike to work, what do I need to know? How can I learn? And then I found out that, and I don't know if this is UK wide or just in London, but you can get free lessons from like your local council. Like if you go on like TFL and just look for like bike lessons, you get free bike lessons. So y'all, I have two weeks of bike riding lessons and this is week one. And this is that like I decided to vlog today because I wanted to have a memory of this. Um, Because I'm like, wow, like hopefully today, because I tried to, my sisters, like my sisters tried to give me a lesson once for like 10 minutes and I dropped a couple of times and they were like, uh uh, we ain't about to explain bruises on your body. Um, <laughs> so basically... Like, I feel like I'm completely new to this as an adult. Um, I can't be talking to you all. What's the time? Okay, I can't be talking to you all. But I'm going to head off. And then, yo, I can't even remember the last time I wore a drawstring bag. Can you remember, like, these? Thank God this came with my helmet. I thank God it did. Because where would I put my stuff? Because in my mind, I would have gone with a handbag. But yeah, yo, um, let me speak to you all afterwards. Yeah! did it guys i actually did it yo i am so i am happy i am tired so basically they put us like in a car park like most of the cars were on the other side and then we were just like going around in circles um and then first of all we had to do a thing where we were where we just practiced getting on and off the bike by holding the brakes and then we practiced walking with it then we practiced a bit of walking and gliding and then we practiced like pedaling and the trick was pedaling, which I struck, like there was a girl that got it so quick. And I got it, like, I think everyone's at different stages. Some people didn't get it, some people did. But like, I struggled with the, and it's, when you get it, it's simple. And I'm going to say the sentence soon. But basically to pedal, it was like, bring one higher. So let it, like, let one pedal be higher than the other. And then on your stronger foot, let that be the higher one. And then push down and then just keep pedaling and don't stop. And it took me so long to get that. But once I got it, it was a lot better. I then need to figure out, like, I was a bit wobbly. So we had to like increase the gears and stuff to give me a bit more resistance. But yeah, y'all, it was like actually really, really good. I'm so yawning. And there was a point where I thought, oh, I'm not going to get it because you're my balance. Like me trying to do things physically, swimming, all of that stuff. My coordination, it's a bit of a thing. But yo, I feel like by the end, I was finally getting it. Like I'm still very wobbly. Um, So this was the first lesson. Um, And then we have, I have another lesson next week. And then I think I'm going to see how I do next week and decide whether I want to continue with the beginner ones or the advanced ones or the not advanced but the next level I'm just really glad that I finally done this um but yeah yo the tiredness has hit 
it is literally just um we're there for a while it's midday now um so i need to go i need to shower i'm starving i need to eat because i didn't eat breakfast beforehand so i need to grab some food oh i need to grab a coffee and y'all my coffee well, coffee situation. Let me show you. Look at what was delivered, y'all. I bought a coffee machine. I feel like I just need to buy a few more things for like the kitchen, and then I'll be done with the kitchen stuff. Um, I've shown you stuff from the unboxings. You have seen stuff. Anything I have in my kitchen as well, I have created like a page on my website where you can just click through and order it. So if there's anything you see that you like, obviously the coffee machine and all that stuff, because it's in this video, I will leave it. In the link in the description the link will be in the description box is what i'm saying i'm gonna that's gonna be my first cup of coffee of the day um from my new coffee machine yo the tiredness is really hitting and i have editing to do as well um but i think maybe after i eat i will feel that camera is not straight one second <laughs> yeah maybe after i eat i will feel it's like i'll have a bit more energy yo shower and breakfast well technically now lunch but breakfast Hey guys, um, it is literally like hours later. Um, I just did some cooking, I kind of cleaned up around the flat, did a few bits and bobs. Well, yo, I have been on the sofa for literally most of the afternoon. It is like 6 p.m. now, past 6 actually, and I am so tired. First of all, and I think I, I don't know if I said this earlier on, if you're gonna go bike riding, and I don't know, I don't know how people be biking in shorts, or maybe it's just because I'm learning, yo, I scratched up my legs so badly. Because I was wearing like joggers, but I was wearing like, you know, like the joggers that are not three quarters, but they stop on my knees. And y'all, like the, the bike pedal thing, when I was trying to walk with it, kept hitting my leg. And then when I was trying to learn how to pedal, and every so often I would miss getting my second foot on the other pedal. Like my leg actually really hurts. And it's mainly my left leg because that's the one that I was, I think that's it when I was missing the pedal. Because I'd start with my right. Um, like it's just like i scratched it up like next week i'm gonna have to wear like full like full length but yeah that's not even the thing like my whole body hurts i'm so tired i think it's a combination of stuff like i slept late last night obviously i had to get up early to go to like the lesson well my body everything just hurts and the problem is like at the time it didn't feel like i was using all of these muscles but right now i'm really feeling it so basically i've been on the sofa um most of the oh my you know what? guys did I tell you, yeah, did I tell you these came in the post? So oddly enough, I think it was last week's vlog that I was showing you that I ordered another set. And then I was literally thinking about these yesterday because I was like, oh, if you haven't seen last week's vlog. So these are basically, um, this is menstrual underwear. I always have to think of the sensible term as opposed to what I call it in my head. But this is menstrual underwear. And last week, I think I was just talking about, or in the last vlog, um, I was just talking about, I'm kind of sick and tired of the traditional product and I wanted to try something different. Um, and I said I ordered, I showed one and then I said I'd ordered another one. And the funny thing is like, I kept thinking like literally the other day, I was like, this should have arrived by now. And then when I went out earlier on, I saw that the post, cause normally when I get a package, they deliver it to my door, but the postman left it like just somewhere. Um, not obviously it wasn't like, like it was in a, it was, it was like wrapped in the Amazon, actually not Amazon. Wow. I shop on Amazon too much. Like it was wrapped in the cardboard, brown cardboard box thing. And it wasn't like, it was still like in my house. But it was like near the entrance to enter the flat as opposed to in front of one of the flats or like anyways y'all this came and then this was the one i'm really excited about and i don't know why i think this is attractive but i think it's really attractive um once again i don't really want to get in the habit of showing my underwear on youtube so i'm not going to open this 
yeah yeah i'm so excited to try this if you if you do want to try them or if you are they're basically like if uh, i didn't explain it so basically menstrual underwear is you can use it with another product so you can use it with something else um like maybe a tampon or whatever you choose to use um but you're meant to be able to wear it and it's meant to hold four tampons worth of flow um so it's reusable it's meant to be leak free so it, basically you wear the knickers you wash them and you wear them again obviously not day after day you need more than one pair of knickers but yeah that's what they are and like i'm not going to open these ones but like the other ones i think i showed you i'm going to leave an, an eye to that vlog because you can check it out like there's like a it's almost like it comes with its own built-in padding or whatever um but yeah y'all this came i was going to say something before i got distracted or oh, i think i was going to drink water one second i still haven't unboxed the coffee machine y'all i basically did like some cooking cleaning and then I was on the sofa and I was like, you know, when you literally, I kept falling asleep and I was trying to do stuff. But I was falling asleep and then I was on the phone. I'm on the phone again. Well, after the unboxing of the coffee machine, I had some editing to get done. I also wanted to find time to like do like a um, manicure, pedicure, situation. But it is now like by the time I'm done, hopefully the unboxing doesn't take too long. Hopefully I can figure out the coffee machine pretty quickly. I don't know how many hours the editing is going to take, but now I'm trying to decide, like, I don't think I'm going to have a chance to do the manicure pedicure thing. Because, like, I'm so tired. And maybe the self-care of the day should be just getting sleep, just so I can get to church um, on time. I need to get to church earlier than usual tomorrow, actually, because um, I need to help with something. Let me get up. Oh, y'all. My arms, my thighs, everything just hurts. Everything just hurts, y'all. I guess I was kind of like... Well, I wasn't riding properly for an hour, but I was there for an hour and a half. Um, so that is a lot of movement, generally. Anyways, oh, coffee time! It's still been on. It's been on there since yesterday, since I showed it on my Instagram stories, <laughs> next to all my boxes that I now need to sort out. Um, but am I the only one that like when you get a delivery, you have to keep the like the packaging for a while to figure out if you want to return it or not. So it's just then stuck in. And I guess because my flat's so small, it's just then in the way. But this is a sidetrack. Um, let's talk about coffee. Okay, so I did this on Instagram yesterday. Well, technically not yesterday. Well, yes, yesterday for me. But then by the time you'll be seeing this, because Instagram tends to be more live, while YouTube, because it takes me a while to edit, YouTube tends to be like pretty behind. So follow me on Instagram. If you're not following me on Instagram, because then you see stuff as it happens. And then when the YouTube comes out, it's like the behind the scenes of the Instagram or the full story. I don't know what I'm trying to say. But basically I was saying... Uh, if you if you follow me on Instagram, you might remember you've already seen this, or you might have actually forgotten because it's been a minute. But I ordered a oh, so I just remembered why this was making me laugh. Because <laughs> yesterday on Instagram, I was like, "What did I call this? Um, a, a cop, something machine. I called it some kind of machine. Um, but I've got a coffee scoop. Uh, no, a coffee scoop. So I got two of those. Um." And it comes with a bag clip. I was not this articulate yesterday. It was, <laughs> it comes with a bag clip. So this is a coffee I bought. I literally bought this. I bought this coffee. Actually, I bought this coffee like last week's vlog. So this is the coffee I bought last week. And I think when you open the bag, you're then able to clip this like this um, properly. Ow! My nail, nail, nail. Got a quarter nail, a quarter nail. <laughs> so I got two of these off of Amazon. They were like less than five quid. Um, so these are supporting materials. I also got some coffee filters. So I literally ordered these when I ordered the coffee machine because I think they go with the coffee machine. So you know how some filter coffee machines come with their own built-in filter? The one I ended up going for um, does not. So you use these. But again, these were inexpensive. I think there's 40 in the pack and they were like £2.50 each. And I got them off Amazon as well. Um, they might be cheaper like in a local store or stuff. But like, you know, I ain't, got, I ain't about to be looking in Asda for this. So I just bought it. Um and then last but not least the coffee machine and yo can you see the picture i feel like you're not far away come close don't be so scared okay that's better i'm not sure why you guys were so far away and hopefully you can see can you see my kitchen hopefully you can see the vibe so like you know i have a lot of like white and silver mirror so that's kind of why i wanted this one so first of all the reviews were good um but like i did want to i saw a few ones that had good reviews but they were black and i was like i actually want something that's very much in the vibe in the vibe I'm so excited, yo. Yeah. What's this? Oh, it came with some filters. Basically, I bought the filters with the coffee machine because I didn't want to have a coffee machine and not be able to try it out. But in there, it comes with four filters to start you off with. It also comes with the manual. 
um so this is the other so the, it comes in like black and silver it comes in all white like they're different types this is like a lot of information where's the english section okay kind, how kind yeah i'm sorry i i think it, okay listen i am very one of the reasons it takes me so long to decorate my flat shop all of that stuff is because i picture something and then it's i oh i basically hunt down that picture so it's very hard for me to find stuff that fits like the perfect imagery of what i wanted but yo can you just see the vibe of the kitchen like it's not going to be next to this but can you just see the vibe it's all coming together to be fair the kitchen is nearly done all that's left for me to do in the kitchen is the the tea oh the tea and coffee area i feel like i told you that i was going to be converting my ikea billy like bookshelves into like a kitchen cabinet so that will be coming up shortly but for now if anyone was interested in actually purchasing one of these this is what it looks like um and what i'll do is if you do want to find out more about it like the actual detail details um like the measurements and all that stuff and that's the thing i wanted something that wasn't too big but that wasn't too tiny um i will leave the link to this to my purchase to so this one in the description box so you can go on amazon and look at all the information but one of the other reasons i really like this is now the fact that it comes with a metal thermal what do they call it i want to say flask but it's not a flask it starts with c basically the bit the coffee goes in but basically a lot of them come with glass and then when you break them you have to hope that the, you can just buy a replacement and then the replacement can be expensive so i wanted this because it's actually like less breakable but also because like the glass ones you tend to need to reheat but then if it's thermal it should hopefully stay warm for quite a bit the one thing they did say in the reviews was it's really hard to clean because oh that's not too bad they basically said like the opening at the top was really tiny so it's hard to clean but that's not too bad i thought it was going to be tiny look how shiny that is i'm sorry i'm just i'm excited i'm not even sorry y'all y'all should know by now if you've seen any of my videos i get gassed very easily and i've just realized i don't think i've introduced myself in this vlog how do i manage to do this so regularly like i have been vlogging for so long that i always forget to introduce myself so i'm just going to do that really quickly um if you are new to this channel welcome my name is tommy lola and um, welcome to this girl's insights i would love to have you join the family we tend to have a lot of vlogs sit down conversations lifestyle diy just all of the stuff going on well, not all of the stuff but what i think is hopefully a lot of fun stuff going on here subscribe to join the family like to support and remember the comment section is how we become friends so say hi tell me how you're doing tell me that you're new tell me what videos you'd like to see tell me what you've been up to Tell me if you have such a pretty coffee machine. And this is slightly weird because I know like my audience, so my audience, like people watch from the US and the UK. Um, I know the parts of the world, but that's where most of the people watch from. So I know in the US, like I think of, like coffee machines are normal to you guys, but in the UK, we don't really do coffee machines. Like we have a kettle and then people have instant coffee or you go and you buy a coffee. But yo, I have spent months just fantasizing about waking up to the smell of coffee. And this does have a timer. So this is meant to come with a timer so I can set the timer and then in the morning i would wake up to coffee um also it comes with uh like apparently it's meant to have an indicator to tell me when to descale but i feel like i'm talking about all the things but this is this is basically the coffee machine y'all this is so pretty this is so pretty hopefully i can get good coffee out of it i need to read the manual i need to wash my coffee scooping machine i don't know why that's gonna crack me up um yo the things i say on instagram when i'm tired follow me on well, it's at this girl's insights for my main Instagram. Um, and then there's at home decor by Tommy Lola for all things DIY. And that's what, that's where I was talking about the coffee machine, actually. I can't even get to the camera. There's way too much. There are too many packages on the floor. Oh, oh yeah, that smells so good. I'm still on the first race, so I guess I'm going to go do other stuff while it finishes also not too loud it's basically like it sounds like a kettle really so this is what the thingy looks like the paper filters look like so i think i've got oh, i've got more than four they've given me like five free ones and like you can even get a coffee machine with its own filters so you don't have an ongoing cost of filters but the filters are inexpensive ground coffee is inexpensive so as long as the coffee is amazing this feels like a sound financial decision <laughs> sorry i also just looked in the corner where i have two other packages unopened of other kitchen appliances but let's let's discuss that another day let's discuss they're also sound financial decisions um they might not have been necessary <laughs> but y'all watch this face there'll be a whole separate video where we talked about the cooking instruments i have bought in this kitchen oh is that done 
How do I know when it's done? It stopped making a sound. So this is how you rinse the machine, y'all. You just run it with just plain water twice. It said to use a thermal jug to fill the water tank. So that's what I'm doing now. This and then I'm gonna open this. Okay guys, so it is literally four minutes later um, and my coffee is done. But the living room slash kitchen smells of coffee right now. Um, yeah, literally that only took four minutes. And I think even when I did the 15 cup one, it took like about 10 minutes max. Oh. I want to taste it black, but I feel like I need to cool it down somehow. We're going with almond milk today in the kofofa. Yo, do you see, like, do you see the, can you even see the steam coming off of that? This is so hot. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. I can taste the coffee. I'm trying to figure out if I, I think I would want it to be stronger. Okay. Okay. So this is pretty good, y'all. Like, it's strong. It's like, oh, y'all, this, I am so happy with this purchase. I am so, so happy. The only question we now have to find out is because people were saying the thermal jug doesn't keep it hot enough and to be fair like a lot of the coffee machines that come with the hot plates like they only heat it up for like 20 or 40 minutes anyways and why are you leaving coffee like heated up for that long anyways that's just anyways but yeah so like apparently this is meant to keep it warm from hot for up to two hours and i am enjoying this cup of coffee so much that i know i'm going to be back um probably in in an hour i have the second cup and i'll tell you if it is still warm i basically put in enough water according to their gauge for four large cups but I think when you're drinking out of these type of mugs, like my big mugs, and all oh my mugs are big, um, then maybe it's too. <laughs> we'll see. And I have to figure out what I'm going to do. I'm trying to figure out if I should sleep, if I should edit, or if I should give myself a manicure and pedicure. I feel like this is now a coffee machine review. So this is now a review of, I don't even know the name of this coffee machine. <laughs> a lot of stuff has happened in this vlog, but this is now a review of the Look Therm Timer coffee machine. So as you can see, um, I decided to fight going to sleep and I'm trying to combine all, <laughs> I'm trying to combine my to-do list to save time. So like what I'm doing is like while my feet is soaking in my pedicure um, and I've got the massage feet going on, um, I'm going to do some research on my laptop, but then for relaxation, I'm also going to put on the TV for background noise slash relaxation. And then I'll give myself a little pedicure manicure. Have you guys used the show? I don't know what it's called, but it's like this foot thing and then it comes with different attachments. Um, this thing is amazing amazing um i love it for like my at home pedicures and when i say at home pedicures i literally don't get like i don't think i like people touching my feet because i feel like every time i think about getting a pedicure i'm like i think i've had it done like maybe years ago and i didn't hate it but it's like i don't know i feel like all my pedicures are at home pedicures nowadays unless if it's like a girl's thing that we're doing like an event or something but i really ever go and get a pedicure by myself um just for the sake of it like i tend to do it at home so yeah y'all um let the relaxation slash research begin but yeah this thing's amazing if y'all have never tried it i will leave the link to everything i feel like so if, have i talked about anything apart from the coffee machine in this video as is usual anything i discuss or anything i think you'd be interested in i will leave the link to it in the description box below Do you know, even though I am working, I'm actually so relaxed right now and I'm glad I decided because I was going to put this off. I've been putting off doing this pedicure and manicure for literally days. I feel like I was meant to do it last week actually and I didn't even do it last week. Um, and I'm glad I did it right now because I feel so... Whew. It is three hours later, y'all. I didn't sleep, by the way. Um, oh, I think I told you guys that. So I ended up doing my nails. So I did my... It's a very sloppy job. Um, but I did my nails in this colour. Um, which I feel like I haven't done for such a long time. It's a bit random. Um, I did my nails in this colour. I also did my toes in the same colour as well. Um, I'm really glad I did it because... 
I just feel so relaxed. Obviously, I'm still tired. But I used to do my nails every Sunday without fail because it just there's something about doing it that just calms my body. And I forgot about just how relaxed I feel while I'm doing it. Um, so I did that. Um, oh, the lights went off. And that's not about the lights. If you don't move, they go off. And then if you move, they come back on. It feels like I've taken a really deep breath and released it if that made sense like my muscles are just a lot more relaxed but yeah i still have that to say it's three hours later and i know i'm going to come back in one hour so i would be surprised if this is still hot oh i need to press this okay so i think i've basically got with this size of mug even though i put in enough water for four large mugs according to the thingy um i've basically got i've basically got two and technically i don't know if you can see i've not even filled that into the top let me show you so I'm not filled that to the top. So if you were just going to be having black coffee, um, four would probably just give you one and a half cups. I, mean, I can feel a bit of heat off this. Obviously, it's not steaming. But it's warm. Three hours later, yo, it is, it's not piping hot. Like, I can stick it in the microwave for 30 seconds. But it's actually still warm. It's warm three hours later, yo. Okay, I, this is a perfect. This vlog was meant to be... Actually, this vlog was me about just... This vlog was more about me just wanting to record the day where I learned to ride a bike for the first time. I forgot about that. My body still hurts, but I forgot about the fact that I did that today. Something I've wanted to do for basically so many years, all of my life. And that's what today was meant to be about. But also, this is now a uh, Melita. I keep forgetting the name of it. Melita Firm something. I'm going to put the link in the description box. Well, so far, day one, I love this machine. So yeah, I was going to say, yeah, so as much as this was meant to be about me biking, um, it's turned into like a review for this machine and I would definitely recommend it. Um, I think it's attractive. I need to figure out where I'm placing it because it's either gonna stay here um, or it's gonna move over to the refurbished kitchen unit. But then I need to figure out what that means for the steam. Like it doesn't let off that much steam, but I just need to investigate a couple of things. But either way, I am so happy with this purchase. Um, it's been a good day. It's been a... Some stuff has happened that's been unexpected, but that's a different conversation, but it's been a pretty good day. Um, yeah, even the unexpected has been good, let's say that. So yeah, y'all, I think it is now basically, um, well, I was going to say 10.30, 10.34. So I'm going to end this vlog here. Um, I hope you've enjoyed spending the day with me. Um, if you haven't subscribed, um, please subscribe and join the family. If you just enjoy just hanging out with me, seeing how I do life, me riding a bike, me geeking out over a coffee machine in the same way I geek out over knives and everything that I buy for this flat and just decor stuff um, and, <laughs> and menstrual underwear. I don't even know. Oh, yo, it's been so random. But yeah, please, I well, I guess what I'm trying to say is that if you have enjoyed spending time with me, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps with regards to just trying to grow my channel. And just also, on that note, if there's anyone you think that would just enjoy spending time with us, that they would love to join this community, please also share my YouTube channel with them or share this video with them. Um, and yeah, did I say subscribe? I said that. Yeah. Oh, and comment below. That's the other thing. Comment below because I do love having conversations with you guys. Um, it's like a two-way thing. Uh, when you email me or you DM me or you leave a comment, it makes me happy. Um, and it's nice to get to know you too. Kind of like in this song at the start of this video. This girl's inside. I want to get to know you. I hope you get to know me too. Welcome. And on that musical note, <laughs> I'm just going to say thank you so much for watching. Um, as always, I greatly appreciate you stopping by, being a part of the family. Um, and I'm just going to say God bless you. Jesus loves you. And may the Spirit of God be with you. Bye, guys. I don't think I can show you my underwear. Oh, they can be just a bit like, do. It looks so good. Things done today. I haven't bought a coffee machine, but I have got the coffee. What do you think? I need to sit down for this. Let's have a conversation. Be nice. Pretty please.